there are several other strategies that I've tried to incorporate in the book to just integrate um, into the story without children knowing that actually they are practicing uh, what they have been um, taught perhaps in their therapy lessons or what the parents are trying to um, help to instill um, in their everyday activities at home. Um, so one of, one of um, the important elements within in life really I suppose is, is having a sense of humor and I think what many people don't realize and I think I did not realize actually until I was taught this myself is that humor needs to be taught it's not something that necessarily naturally occurs in a person we learn it from other people and so um, for example a, a child with hearing loss or some some other kind of um, communication delay may need to be taught more deliberately uh, to identify humor and to learn why things are funny um, and Mr. Mellow Likes Yellow is a funny quirky book um, the illustrations are very humorous I mean you can talk to your child for example about I mean first of all the switching around of the colors in the animal of the animals um, the switching around of where you find them. I mean, do you normally find a stingray flying up in the sky, for example? Or what about a turquoise turtle that wishes it was orange and can balance, you know, on the fingertip of Mr. Mellow? Why is that funny? Is it normal or is it actually quite funny? Um, and and the, the, the rhyming within the, the story also brings um, humor um, so let's see if I can find something else here we go for example this is talking about um, Mr. Mello's pet parrot and he has a parrot called Pip Pip is orange but really really likes purple I think orange is hip remarks Tuttle the turtle orange is for carrots not parrots pouts Pip Oh, shush, stop all your noise. Just be thankful you're not turquoise. There's, you know, there's a lot of humour built into that which you can explore um, with, with your child. Or, for example, um, something really simple. Like, Mr. Mellow, he flies a kite at night. Is that usual? Or is that quite funny? Does that make him a little bit quirky or unusual. Would you like to fly a kite at night? Or would you prefer to fly it during the day when it's nice and sunny and warm? And, um, and th there's also lots of um, very subtle, I mean, the illustrations in this book are not subtle. They're bright and, you know, um, very fantastical. But Lorena has really woven in some very humorous um, elements and if I can just oh, here we go so for example we don't mention the black cat in the actual verse or in the story in the text but the black cat keeps on cropping up in in the illustrations and um, with all this rather crazy stuff going on with weird colored animals and kites being flown at night and people and turtles balancing on beds and flying through the sky the cat always looks slightly alarmed which i find rather amusing um you know and we get right to the end of the story where um everybody else has gone completely sort of um <laughs> i don't know that but you know right at the end here everything is gone a little bit crazy and here you find the cat who's probably the only sane one left 